did you learn from taking some of the project implicit tests? Did you find that there were some blind spots that you didn't know that you had before? So I think the first thing we all need to accept is that as human beings, we are all biased. And our biases are just part of our lens in how we see the world. So it, they're influenced by where we live, our gender identity, our age, our race, religion, political identity, education, life experience, and the culture we live in. We categorize our biases by different ways in which they affect us and our perspective. So one of the many types of biases is very familiar to us is cognitive dissonance. It's based on our personal views that don't actually match the facts or evidence laid in front of us. We convince ourselves that we are right even though that evidence and those facts say otherwise. We let ourselves reinterpret those facts to better fit our own world views and our beliefs. The primitive side of our brains is built to protect ourselves. And so we are all about survival in our basic level. And so that ties into this notion of negative bias because we tend to pay more attention to negative news and information than positive. And that's because our brain is trying to protect us from any sort of possible danger. Even think about your own memories. How much of the positive stuff do you remember over your negative experiences? And what is that emotional impact of the positive memories versus those negative memories? Confirmation bias is another big one where we seek out information that fits our worldviews rather than challenging it. It's also known as the filter bubble that we now live in and computer algorithms are influencing that through social media and our search engines and all that. Try to get out of your bubble to have a better understanding of the world and move beyond your own sense of beliefs and perspectives. There's a bunch of other different types of biases and I will include them in a handout. Just know that our brains have many ways of creating illusions and false connections between information. Another thing to think about is this notion of groupthink. So we are social beings and we come together in communities and these communities are connected through cultural values and norms. And when we're in a collective, we have this sense of being invulnerable. Together, we're stronger than individually. And that can impact our perspective. Groupthink can also make us think that we are morally superior than another individual or a group of people. And it creates that sort of us versus them atmosphere. And even within those groups, we tend to censor ourselves to not be one of those them type characters who are outsiders. We also stereotype. And like I mentioned before, our memory does have an impact on our stereotypes and perspectives. So one way in which that it affects us is that we do this leveling where we forget details and only focus on certain aspects which create these sets of assumptions and categories in our minds. Or it can do the opposite where there are certain uh, aspects that are intensified in our interpretations and perceptions of our surroundings. 
So just keep in mind how your stereotypes, how your beliefs, how your biases impact your initial responses to the world and to the information that you're receiving. If you look at Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart, Martha Stewart's the felon here. So I want you to take a moment to make a list of those elements that influence your lens.